Hello and welcome to Truck NIS. We are at Gateway this week and we are headed out for qualifying here in just a moment. Looks like everybody's going to make the race here today. I think uh, Nick said we had about 37 people for this one. And uh, heck, maybe I'm glad because I'm not feeling too good qualifying speed. I'm not feeling too comfortable overall, uh, just to be completely honest. I don't know if I have this completely figured out, but we're going to hop out here Exit's clear. Push. Got and see what we can get. get I don't bit. think I'm going to be anywhere near the front. I, I think I'm going to end up about halfway, about mid-pack. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Setups provided as usual by Daniel. Much appreciated. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the most out of them this time around. And I will say the qualifying setup, uh, I ended up just using the race setup with tape on it, which I'm sure is not great uh, to do, considering the other setup's probably better for qualifying, considering it's made just for it. But I couldn't get it to turn. I'm probably overdriving. And then, of course, I got loose right there, which isn't helping. I'm just, like, not driving well. I can't figure this place out, which kind of stinks. It's the home track. Want to do well here. Want to want to do well at your home track. One more lap, huh? Struggling. We'll see if we can avoid getting Position. loose this time in. Okay, that was better. That was a better one and two. Oh my god, I over drove three and four though. Yeah, I'm just, I'm driving terrible today. I can't figure this out. That's probably uh, the fastest lap I've gotten. This session. I, just, I can't figure it out, man. They got 33.8s. I'm not going to be competitive today, I don't think. Kind of stinks. But. It's bound to happen where I'm going to just be not very good. And uh, it has happened, to be clear. <laughs> but, yeah, we'll see. 11th right now. It's also just horribly miserable in my apartment right now. I need to call maintenance to help fix our AC because the AC is not working. And it's, uh, believe it or not... This, based on real real world weather, since it's about 90 degrees outside, I can confirm that is accurate in the St. Louis area. <laughs> and uh, I'm here without air conditioning. Um, I've got pain in my wrist, so, you know, I'm making all kinds of excuses already. <laughs> really, if all conditions were perfect, I still would not be good, but I'm not feeling very comfortable, like, literally, physically either right now. Which isn't helping, to be clear. Um... But, yeah. Pretty nearby Nick. That makes me feel a little bit better. I know he's probably on Daniel's sets as well. Gavin uh, got a whole tenth on us. He probably was able to put it together. Whereas I got, I messed up one of the corners, both laps. He probably put it together and got himself about a tenth up. 14th is where I'm going to end up. Everyone's going to make it, as mentioned earlier. Flag, P14. I will put in the race setup before I forget. Sorry, I uh, accidentally showed the setup. <laughs> I had to cut that out. So if there was a weird cut right there, that's what that was. Um, but switched over to uh, setup. I'm going to need to make a note to remind myself to edit that out. So one moment while I leave a note to self. Let's see here. Go. All right. Thank you for letting me do that. Now we are going to find our solves and put race sets in. 115 track temp. 128 track temp. It's hot. It's a, a sweaty one out here. 
Now, hopefully, once we actually get into the race and such, um, I won't have to push as hard, and maybe I can do a little bit better about not overdriving corners, and maybe I'll I'll be better in race conditions. I'm just I couldn't figure out qualifying this time around. <laughs> Excuse me. Hopefully, be able to do an all right job. Oh no, Nick Robinson. Hopefully, he's able to get back in time. Um, speaking of internet connection, I did get a new ethernet cable since the other one was not working quite right. It kept slipping out of the port because part of the uh, snap-in mechanism thingy <laughs> was broken. So it was slipping out of the port and I think that's what was causing some quality issues. And I'm hoping that this new one should be better. So far I haven't seen any in any movement at all for the Q bar, so that makes me feel a little bit better. I'm gonna try to get it on the right rear here today, even if it is super slick track. I think it's gonna be beneficial just with how tight these corners are. Not to uh, drive too hard in on entry and try to get some uh, smoothness going on. Consistency. I don't know. Three and four, though. I'm, I'm feeling like staying in fourth gear has been working better for me. There, I felt like I overdrove. I, just, I feel so uncomfortable. Like, just on track, not the physical hot room, uncomfortable I was talking about earlier. I think I'm just not comfortable in the, in the truck either. We'll see, though. We'll see. Finishing up warm up here some race laps in about a minute left before we actually get going on this thing I think I might shift to third just to help get some turn in it even if it might be a little bit slower Per lap, I feel like it gets on the right front more when I'm not shifting. I'm gonna be thankful for. Uh, I'm just gonna find myself thankful for a solid, clean finish here today. Solid, uh, clean race. I'm not gonna ask too much from this one. Crazy how hot the track is. That's what's going on in real life, apparently. So we'll uh, have to roll with it. Go asking what tape everyone's running. I think I'm at 58. Wow, 65, really? That's interesting. I'm shifting, so. Hux might not be shifting. He's got quite a bit more tape on it. Well, here we go. Stages are going to be 55 and 110. We'll try to get into the top 10 for those. What is our fuel setting? About 58 on a full tank. So we'll get to the first stage and then pit if this goes green until then. We'll give a good luck, like everybody else. Blend into the crowd. <laughs> hmm. It's gonna be tough. I think this is gonna be a real tough one for me. A lot of the uh, 
names you expect to see up front. Scott Cabe, Frank Carwile, Nick Robinson. He's kind of going through the field. Looks like he... Alex said he messed up his qualifying. He's in 30th back there. I bet he'll be moving forward, though. He's been doing pretty well in the overall standings. Uh, I think he missed a couple races. Might have hurt him a little bit, but he's had some consistent finishes for the most part, or at least the last time I remember checking, he had. Some tortillas in front of us. That's what I associate with mission. Anyway. They also have, like, tortilla chips, I think. In the green, so we'll be going this time around. Does the pace truck, uh, pace car, what do we got to here today? Pace truck. Does the pace truck pull off right here under the access road? Let's get my... Oh, Nick Robinson just now coming back. Uh-oh. I didn't realize he missed the start. That sucks. Hate to see that. So, pace truck does go off last minute, I guess. I'm gonna do second gear, kind of near the shift point. All right, and we're off. The car inside. Stay high. Clear inside. I'm not going to do anything too aggressive. On the way to the inside. Outside. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Keep low. The king's gonna keep it low, I guess. The yellow flag is out. And we got a yellow. In single file. Pit road is closed. Left us 95. Car by. It's like Nick was ahead of us. I just realized I had that muted. And Leafler have spun off. Don't touch the, uh, curb down there. <laughs> oh, we had a spin in three no, and four, maybe. The curbing. Three and four. We're under caution. It's closed. I didn't even mean, mean to end up on it. I was just entering a lot slower than I was used to. Just kind of happened. All right, so uh, quick caution. Pit roads open. All right, thank you. Pits are open. We move up a couple spots in that tiny, short little run there, from 14th to 12th, and uh, we'll go so when Nick get it going Nick again. I got locked in like the transfer screen and it was stuck in our so I had to like force shut down my computer and restart everything. Oh, uh, that sucks. Dang. Did you take a lap back? I actually never went a lap down. As soon as I joined y'all in green and the car came out, so. When? I guess he's pretty lucky they had the caution then. Yeah, I don't think Shane. I really, really appreciate that. You know, I didn't go around. I don't know how the cops came out. It's close. <laughs> Two people were talking there at the same time. I said I lap down. I said I didn't go around. I don't know how the cops came out. I just did it again. <laughs> talking over each other. It was, it was real slow on the front stretch, so. Uh, Alan, you keep getting cut off because you're talking in all teams, so everyone's talking over you and drivers. Yeah. Dude, I, I never do that like the other day, and I've been on here for so long. Yeah, it's that. Alright, well. 
you want to repeat what Still can only make it to the first stage, so I think the plan is going to... I think gonna, you start down sounds like a good idea. ...going to remain the plan. Got to keep up with Scott and up them up there. I started in the back of Charlotte. You'd probably still beat me. All right, getting back oh, into yeah, position. Yeah, be on the outside again. These are my first laps at this track, so I'm quite interested to see how it runs. I feel like I'm gonna burn up my tire. This is a tough track to just jump into as well, because I've been here a couple times and I still feel lost. It's such a unique drive. I feel like. Obviously, you got the different corners on both sides. Long straightaways. Or the size of the track overall. Get ready, going green. So far, so good, though, I guess. We moved up a couple spots in that short little run. See if we can get some more. Start at P12 here. The pace car is off. Be ready. Green, green, green. Inside, you're in the top 10. Still there at the bottom. Stay high. Clear. All right, get around the outside. Kevin there. Just going to keep it easy. Not try to uh, overdrive anything. Oh, they're breaking early compared to what I thought. Oh boy. Pretty big braking zone into turn one here. Again with those long straightaways followed by a pretty sharp turn. Waiting on the guy ahead. Playing with King, yes. Looks like he overdrives it just a bit. We're going to go around his inside. Alright, that'll be P8. I wonder if I'm overdriving it. Like that might be the case. Oh my god, he almost ran into me, I think. He really overdrove that. Holy cow, he almost up into the wall. Oh, I'm glad he uh, <laughs> didn't hit me. At least. A little bit of space behind. That was a thirty-five point zero. Not gonna make a move on Tyler just yet. Felt like that would have been a little bit of a late move, and it's too early to even be pushing anything quite like that, so. Oil temp getting high, but that's okay. It's still in the orange. Keep an eye on it, though. And uh, if uh, it gets bad, we'll just have to shift earlier, so we're not getting in the high RPMs as much, or just abandon shifting for a bit. So, keep an eye on it. I'm not too concerned yet. 
Didn't mean to earn are you there. Yeah, just easier this way. Outside. Outside? Oh my god, I didn't know that was happening. I had no idea he was out there. Wow, that was almost dangerous. I mean, that was dangerous. That was almost bad. That's what I'm saying. I'm trying to, anyway. I might have to be careful with these tamps. They're going up. Didn't mean to slide up like that. Seventh place. We've been moving forward. I'm feeling I'm feeling much better now already. I know I might just be killing my tires, but but uh, it's feeling really slow. Before I feel like I might be able to actually. Have some speed now. A little bit of a confidence boost. That lap time was 35.6. Gotta get around Ryan, maybe. Real slow mid corner, I feel like. He might not be shifting. Nick, you blinked. I'm sorry, I'm okay with the temperatures. I think uh, we should be able to manage them just fine. Okay. Takes the low line right when I was trying to uh, maybe try to go around them. I don't think that was intentional. That was bad timing. Gavin's driving away, and that's concerning me. I'd like to go with him. Not clear, buddy. Uh, it's just hard to get a run down there. Um, I feel like I'm holding you up. Yeah. Yes. Holy shnikes, man. Still there, hold your line. Clear up top. See, we've been meant to do that. It's hard to tell. I'll just keep moving on. Doing good. Keep it up. P6. All right. P6. Long way to go, though. Couldn't find a way around. I maybe could have tried something the outside that might have been the way to go. Okay, Colton, you're reeling lemons in the gap is now. Not Temperatures are going back to normal even without uh, abandoning Thank shifting. So I'm thinking I'm pretty yeah, good no there. It's feeling good so far. We'll see if that lasts. Shit! Oh. Shoot, I double shifted. So thank you for holding up for me. Hi, you're welcome, man. How are you? Wow, that was bad. I accidentally... My finger got caught on the shifter. Clear inside. Car inside. 
That was terrible. I'm really lucky my engine didn't work. Seventh position. Wow, okay, that was really bad. That was horrible with the tires. It's terrible with. God, I'm driving terrible right now. Now I'm like paranoid. I'm gonna do it again. It messed me up. Oh boy. I miss making things harder on myself. Alright, back to back to normalcy here, please. Hey, I was just getting on the right rear, right? Yeah, yeah, I mean it's not you'd be a little slow. I got off the corner, my bad. Alright, don't do it again. Don't double shift again. I'm so lucky my engine didn't blow from that. So lucky. I guess that's one of those hidden dangers of shifting I don't really think about potential to mess up the whole you know shifting itself Still getting a little bit of Q-Bar stuff, which is unfortunate. I thought my Ethernet cable getting fixed would help that, but I'm still glad I got a new one because it did slip out from time to time, which, believe it or not, also affects the internet quality when the wire's not connected. Got about a second behind. Gavin in the top five have just left. I was catching up to Gavin once upon a time before my horrible mistake. Sixth place. Caution. Caution. They want you in single file. Pit road is closed. Hey, Pass the paid car. Catch that. Pass the paid car. Ah, uh, that sucks, Jim. Four sets of tires. I think this could be a very green racetrack. I think we might come in. I think we could definitely have long runs here. I go. Leader is right behind. Car's out. Leader is right behind. Car's out. Line up single file behind car. Gotta make it all the way back around. I definitely think I need to take tires since uh, I did that slide. Yeah, I had nowhere to go, James. Uh, I just sucked. Two minutes to repair. We still had speed to be able to pull away from guys behind, but Pit Road is now open. Full course yellow. Pits are open. Your engine temperature. Guys, we're taking back, right? Okay. We're coming in. Everybody else is too, except for Gavin. He's not doing it. He's not about that life. 
<laughs> okay, get him. And be smart. Now, don't mind me, just make me very dumb. Watch your speed limit in the pits. Pit lane speed limit is 45. We'll need to stop the bomb. Alright, clean stop. Oh, I won't tell him. 3, 2, 1. Right here. What if I ask really nice? Like, really nice. 8488. Sorry again for my moment there during that run, double shifting. Okay, punch it. Granny, she wants you in single file. Should be double punch, what do you think? I didn't hear what he said. Alright, we'll get tires on it. I'm really surprised. I mean, I know I was probably bad. Um, 84, 92, 84. Okay. I like that I'm getting on the right rear, even if that might have just been me sliding. Feeling pretty good about how that looks, with all things considered. Are you guys kind of like double A next in three and four? Anyone 88? Wow, that's impressive. At the end of the round, yeah. Hmm. Three and four. Okay. Yeah, I'm entering high and using the throttle to come off the corner. Yeah, I'm just getting super tight. Uh, I don't know why. I'm having the opposite problem. We won't be able to make it to stage two. Even with the fuel. I somehow got a speed penalty. Oh, no. He's having a, some rotten luck. That was back in the worst way. It's just on my day. First the uh, internet connection and then speed. I can't say that my exam was easy to allow me to race, so. I was actually keeping up with you a little bit through the pack there, though. Sorry, I didn't have my car. I'm thinking shifting is the way to go. I want to get on that right for your car. See if we can do it again. So I'm, I'm thinking that's good. Ah. It's are open. Are we P6 for sure? I think so. Because that's where must be this. I wonder if we had some people take fuel only, like Nick behind us. He gained some spots, didn't he? I wonder if he just had a really good stop, or if he maybe took fuel only. So we got some guy out there on old tires. Be careful, everyone. Just joking, guys. <laughs> some guy. <laughs> nah, I was kind of about to say the same thing. Hey, where's his car? Probably got a two. That looked like a genius whenever uh, he's the only guy with a set of tires at the end of the race. When they're needed. Get ready, going green. If I'm gonna save a set though, I think I would save it after three. the stages if possible. I mean, there's no way you can predict how the cautions will fall and stuff. I just really want to make sure I'm in position to keep up here for points at the end of 55 and at the end of 110. Hey, back guys, mine. I'm gonna pack it a little bit tight. Ready. Yeah, let's go in. Greatest jump ahead. Inside. Clear inside. Perfect. Just Hey. Sorry, I got checked up there. The next car's the lead up outside. Oh, Scott just got the wall real hard, it looked like. Looking like me at the end of the Charlotte race. Did you get the 
car inside. Still there at the bottom. Still there at the bottom. All right, if I can avoid double shifting. <laughs> might be oh, okay. Holy smokes, man. Breaking than I was expecting. Still there, hold your line. Clear. Caution. And another caution. Single file. Pete Road is closed right now. They check up one, two. I really backed out of it because I didn't want to go three wide and then just like fucking slide in the one. Huh. Oh. you're facing me right. Sorry, James. I got him beat twice there. I was trying to get stuff. Race cars out. Line up single file behind car 62. Gavin, you're facing the wrong way. It's closed. 62. Gavin was in it. Oh, no. Did you get turned, Gavin? Yeah, he did. By me. Pete Road is now open. Fixed. Nick with a reminder about aggressive driving. He's probably okay. 62. Yeah. Turn one is weird, man. Like, you can be super easy into it, and if you get those bumps wrong, that truck Scott will walk fixing up some the of that damage, maybe, coming in. Yes, sir. That's what just happened to me. I literally would. I got a run off of four, I backed out of three wide, and I still got into him somehow. Got into him probably because uh, he's on old tires. If he's talking about Gavin. Little things. I was on the brakes as hard as I could without sliding. And we'll save some fuel. Yeah. I'm looking at the so I'm numbers I've got right now, 52 laps, 87, I yeah, no, never mind, we're not close. <laughs> In my head, those numbers were closer to 110 when added together. We'll stay fueling with them. What's up? I was asking Ryan if I digged him when he spun around because I jumped to the grass to avoid him, but I think I, I, think I still touched him. Look at all going around the outside. Left on 65. Carbine. Hey, Nick, just want to give you a heads up. You're still blinking quite a bit. I have to say that it clears up, never mind. So we we'll be P4 on the outside. Bad, keep an eye on the ball, man. Why is my internet bad? I can't understand that. It's I guess it wasn't the Ethernet cable that was being bad. It's just the internet service provider, I guess. I mean, it's not terrible, it's just every once in a while it'll show up over there. We won't know exactly where I am. Like, sure, I'm kind of shifting around on the track. I'm probably not fully blinking unless, you know, maybe, but... Scott, may I ask what the tires were after that last week, Grant? Scott just came in, probably got tires, I would think, right? He, or maybe not. But he went in to the pits, he probably can't see his old tires anymore, what percentages they were. Yeah. Uh, anyone up front from my sharing? My, I would, I, deal with them, right? I would share, but I had a big slide at one point. I went through the field and I was like 992 after. 84, 92. I was 89, 89. Dead even on everything. Sweet. Gabe on 89, 89. Is that what he said? God, he's going to be so hard to beat again. Go figure. <laughs> One lap to green. Okay, Colton, You're on the outside this time. The end of this lap. 
I certainly am feeling much better than I was though. Uh, I'm in good, and I'm in a good track position right now. Hey, let me know. After when thinking you're in I was going to be like mid pack to today. Did you get caught up now? I did. I braked. I was missing all. Somebody flew up the track and just drilled me. Oh man, Alan's had some terrible luck too. It's one to go, and we're just getting off of turn two. Okay. No Sucks for Gavin too, having been oh, caught up in that. Yeah, he had a rough one at Charlotte as well. Going through a rough patch. Hopefully his damage isn't too bad and he can still uh, compete in this one. Side for P3. Ooh. Ryan hard in the wall. Yikes. Sorry, man, that was another there. hard hit. That turn for a wall has been claiming a couple oh, people. Good, man. I was watching because I knew you kind of had a shallow entry. It just kept going. I'm like, oh boy. I'm telling you, man. One's weird on the low side. Ooh, so we got about, so what's that, 16 laps until uh, stage? Awkward turn, that was very good. Hopefully we get ourselves uh, some green laps. Better that time. Good one and two. Temperatures are probably going to go up again, so I'll have to keep an eye on that. That's quite unfortunate, Gregory. I'm sorry. I hit the green square. I don't hit the foot that turn here. Getting some great rotation when I hit turns one or two in just the right way. It does make it go a little bit slower though, I think. There's those temps going up. As long as I don't get in the red, I think we shouldn't have too much to worry about. Now I'm down on power because of that. That's un unreal. Okay, Colton. The oil temperature is getting a bit high.
280, that's pretty hot. I'm a little bit concerned. Jeez, cautions. We gotta stay out now. I here I thought this was gonna be a clean race. Man, what's happening back there? We'll see eventually in the incidents, but man. Is it getting hotter? Still not a quite enough with a full tank to make I it to 110. Bad, but I don't want to like just park it. You already said again. <laughs> I mean, it looks like you were dive bombing me anyway, so I break later than I usually used to there. So I don't know what to tell you. Uh, about 58 laps will get you, or is what you'll get on a full tank, so you add that to what we have here. If, if, he's, if he's swerving under the yellow gate, he's the trying to come off right now, so just give him some, some space. Car <laughs> 9, got the lucky dog, let them pass on the outside. Well, get over. Uh, temperatures are now back to normal. All right. Well, kind of sucks. Any room we had behind is gonna be gone. We're gonna start P two. We'll have to. We need to get to in order to get to one ten. Let's see. If we were up sixty. And I guess past lap 60, if we get another caution, is whenever we would uh, come in for fuel so we can make it to the end of stage two. Try to keep that in mind. Someone did me where pit car is. Exiting four right now. Road is closed right now. We're under caution. It's right. So not very many left to fifty five. Dave just got six K I rating for I think the first time ever recently. I remember him doing a little bit of a celebration for it. So congrats to him on that. That's pretty cool. I'm actually this is the highest I rating I've ever had. I think five point one. Let me know when the uh, uh, paid car gets into three, please. It's entering three right now. Up and update the people that are fixing damage. Letting them know where stuff is since I don't have an actual crew chief to update you on that stuff. I'm on the outside. Hopefully, you can get a good jump. One left to green. You're on the outside this time. Race cars in this lap. Do we do a first gear? It uh, it couldn't fit in the bottle, so he's trying to back now. <laughs> he's really rushing. If he, yeah. I think it might be a first gear start if we're on the front row. I guess the, that Nick, and I see Nick, knows Cave, I guess, and is detailing on his bathroom adventures, which I don't know if I really need to know about. I didn't sign up for that newsletter, but, you know. <laughs> Unsubscribe from the PP updates. Go 
Oh, yeah, Nick, go oh, high. The pace car is in. Not a great job. I guess it could have been worse too, though. Oh, that was kind of close to my left rear. Fine, fine. I don't know if I can catch Gabe for the stage. Man, why does he got to win everything? Still, if we can hold on P2, it won't be so bad. That last lap was at 35.1. Yeah, he's he's Sorry, well, that be driving away. We would need a mistake from him, I think. I don't think it's likely. Sorry. Not a very good three and four there. It's about a tenth. Your last lap time was at thirty-five point three. Coming to the end of the stage, we got about point eight behind us. Deciding when to pit might be tough since there's been so many cautions. That lap was a I'm done, guys. You guys have a good night. See you, Dame. Good night. See you, buddy. Alright, coming to lap 55 this time around, and at the end of that will be the end of the stage. It's just not been fun just sitting around here with that. I'm trying, man. I really am. Trying with, uh... Still trying to not kill the tires, of course, but... You know. He's got nothing. I don't even think he's pushing 100%. I think he's just maintaining that half-second gap. Anyone else with car gonna blow up? Dang. Yep. Oh well. You've just done a 35.6. Now what do we do? <laughs> we got uh gotta think about strategy next. So many cautions, though. I just, I'm afraid to even pit. 35 left.
Nick, I'm gonna let you go high. I gotta hit the pits. Hit the pits. That's interesting. I wonder if he's got overheating issues. Maybe he might have been caught in a caution. Got some damage causing overheating. I think this is a place that overheating could definitely become a problem quick. I mean, you can see how close I am already without damage. Three, three. I thought I was gonna pit. What well, did this lap? Yeah. I feel like I'm getting on the right rear pretty well. I'm hoping that'll help with long run speed. bit too low there that killed my exit. Prove that a bit. So right we can get a good angle on the exit here. Get some of that back. A little early on the ship there. <laughs> okay. Too early on the shift. Poked me sideways. We're gonna pretend that didn't happen. Just yawn it out, you know. Getting on that right rear. Shifting is gonna be the death of me. Actually, to be fair, I'm gonna be the death of me. While shifting. Let me be clear. Don't blame the shifting. Blame the operator. That lap time was 36.2. Hmm. Gabe just driving away. A smooth Sunday drive, I'm sure. Cut down out of four. There's probably something to that with how long these straightaways are. Getting a the best exit possible really probably does help a lot. I haven't practiced that though, and I don't feel like I would do it correctly. Especially because I can't do my own line correctly. And another caution. Uh, that's on me. Car is out. It's Rough race continues for Nick Robinson. That sucks. Man, he, uh, he had bad luck at Charlotte oh, last week, too. Oh. Tires, fuel. Going open. for it. Two sets left. A little bit short on tires. Starting to get a little bit weird, but... I'm halfway being about lap 80. Not the worst. Can't pass that pace truck. Look out for the pit speed limit. We'll need to stop again. Your engine temperature is looking better now. Three, two, one. Right here. Sorry about that, man. 8386. We'll share that. I only didn't share last time because I did that slide and it wasn't going to be very accurate. We're done. Get going. Lucky dog coming out. 
Alright, coming out. P2, same spot. What we got for uh, fuel? About oh, 56. Can't make it to the end. So we'll plan to cut this in half. I'm gonna get. I'm just gonna park at the top of the three four and third half. Sorry, I'm sorry. I, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. So I, can't get that <laughs> I need to stop drinking the three water bottles for this. It's open. You <laughs> when I piss my pants like a real man? <laughs> yeah, he's no real man. Where's the adult diapers? This might be our only chance to beat him. They call it depends because I depend on it. We gotta let this pace truck <laughs> lap him. Wouldn't really want to do it that way, of course. Yeah, some of our tires are actually took a set earlier. I was fixing damage. Alright, good to know. He's lap 35. You know what? I'll just drive it in the pits. Okay. He's gonna put it into the pits. Probably a good move. If only get to himself out of the line of fire. Cabe is catching back up. Unfortunately, we do not get a free lap on him. Oh, Cape was given an EOL. Uh, okay. Pits are open. I guess no potty breaks during the race. Yeah, make you work for that. The leader <laughs> is fitting. Yeah, great job. Y'all think I remember? He don't know what's going on. No, not at all. One left to green. Oh, well. well, I guess we're in the lead. Uh, I imagine you won't have too much trouble getting back up here, to be fair. Uh, no, this truck sucks. This will be hell. <laughs> it is extremely difficult to pass here. I was considering not taking tires that last pit stop, and I'm glad I did now. Yeah. I think he'll be fine. He's so fast. He's just driving away from us up front here. If you don't take tires, you'll be like Gavin. Well, he's back here with me now. Get ready. Going green. All right. Well, there, what will be the control car? It's fun. Do second gear. I didn't like first gear last time. <clears throat> Excuse me. The fight car is in. Alan, we're going. Green flag. Green flag. You're in third. All right. So we will have a chance, I guess, to get some laps up front, potentially. We'll drive to 110. Sure, we're breaking enough into turn one so as to be good on that right front. Nice to have clear track ahead. That feels better. The guy behind has just done a 34.7. At the wall. That would be embarrassing. 
Already did that last week, don't need any more of that. Sixty-two, Dylan behind us, holding even at the moment. Okay, Colton, we're matching race pace. That lap was at thirty-four point seven. Seems very important to remain in third gear as long as possible and get the most out of it. Noticed a big difference in how fast that lap was compared to last when I shifted a little bit earlier last lap. Because of the whole wall thing. That was a uh, 24.8. Gonna keep an eye on where Cabe is. I still think he's gonna be fine making his way through the field. I don't think he's gonna be in the back for long. Watch your oil temperature. It's pretty high. You're in the lead. That was uh, 34.9. So having restarted on lap 64, okay, we do some math, lots of math in this series, seems to be a running theme, 64, 36, 6, I guess we'll just, we're set up to pit just right after the, uh, Stage two. I'm thinking that's about where we're going to be going. So that's what we'll do, I guess. Sorry, Cade, that was a bad time to let Gavin go. <laughs> And I was like, oh crap, and I didn't know if I was going to be clear on the outside. Would be cool to get a win at uh, the home track, especially after I didn't think I was going to be very good here today, but Gabe's going to find himself back up front, and I'm going to have to have an answer for him. And uh, we still haven't had a, a very extra long yet. I don't know if uh, I'm going to be very fast at the end of one of these runs. I could fall off hard, as far as I know. Or I could, you know, double shift again, like a genius. Big fat sausage fingers. <laughs> double shifting. It was kind of like one of those situations where, like, my finger, like, right, kind right. of slipped on it, and I think my brain subconsciously, like, went back to do it again, because I was like, oh, I must have missed it. But I didn't miss it, and so I hit it twice, I don't know. You can only you can only put uh, too much brain power. Like up four, like up four, like up four. Heads up, heads up, heads up, heads up. In single file, closed. Pit road is closed. Catch up. Eighty-one car. Wreck on fresh. On fresh. And they wrecked again. Ah oh, shit, game. Well, I guess that's what I get for going to. He was in it. That sucks. Pace car is out. Line up single file behind the pace car. We're under caution. Pits are closed. Yikes. I hate that, man. Man, I have no idea how I made it through there. The whole track was blocked and I was just kind of... That sounded like it was a big one. Pete Road is now over. I was on the brakes, but I didn't go to a complete stop. I just wasn't paying attention in the mirror. I can always do it. I just thought I didn't Can't know. come in right now. Catch the pace car. 
I think I got hit in the rear there, Ryan. Sorry. I man, I, I feel like I was ten feet away from you. I got a good look, but I'm kind of assuming this was netcode. I'm kind of hoping it was netcode. I'm sorry. Hmm. Uh, no worries. Let's take it for everybody else. Well, I wonder how bad the damage is for Cabe. Sounds like he was in it. It might not have been terrible. It looks like he's still on track. He's on pits. In the pits now, though. Make sure we let that lucky dog by on the outside. We're only now just getting to halfway, too. It's a long event. Especially if we're going to be getting all these cautions. So I guess we'll add a couple laps to our uh, planned pit. I don't know. Do we want to do that, though? It's tricky. I don't know exactly the best way about doing strategy here. No, I just lost town, man. I'm sorry. Sounds like maybe Nick Robinson? The initiator of that one? Gabe's going to let down. Closed. Pit road is closed. It's over for him. That sucks, man. He was obviously the best truck on the field. On the field. Like we're playing baseball or something. On the track. Yeah, we're just driving in a field here today. Shane, I got loose too. I thought I came down on you. I think it was a bit of bull. Here in the Great Plains, we're just ramping off the hills. Like it's freaking GTA. <laughs> I'm all out of shape. Set up, set up. There was a lot of people in that. Yeah, I'm the same way, but I'm pretty sure I pulled up on you. I got loose. A lot of people run into, have run into run into trouble in this one. Brian Carwile's gone too. Wow, so many good trucks. Be very interesting to see exactly what happened later, going through the incidents. Yeah, I just looked at the replay. I told I didn't really expect this from Gateway. I, I guess I should have, though. There's a big braking zone, and it's a pretty so tough track. One to go. Next time by. All right, Line Colton. Up on the end the race will resume at the end of this lap. Hmm. Well, our chances got a lot better. Hey guys, my set was already terrible, and I got a little bit damaged. I'm going to call it a night. Y'all have to. You really don't want it to be because of that, though. Uh, like, you want to be the best truck out here and get yeah, the win. Too. See you, man. Sorry, Shane. Hey, I'm dead anymore, so I'll be watching. That sucks, man. I'm sorry that happened. I like this track. All right, well, we'll try to get ourselves a good job. I'm just going to ride around and get some more spots for points. While you all keep pressed up. <laughs> green, green, green. All right. Get a good jump. You start going. 
Try to get to lap 110. We'll pit a little bit after 110, I think. Too much longer after, but a little bit after. Probably let some people come in for us in case there's any uh, trouble. Keeps escaping me that it's just barely after halfway. It feels like we've already done so much. Got to keep a good perspective on this and how much more there is to go. bit loose. I'm trying to get loose. That was a little bit too much. Man, Nick, I need that setup, brother. I'm down horsepower right now, mate. I just basically get flat for the rest of you. I just had a flashback to double shifting. <laughs> I feel like I have PTSD over it. I think that legitimately messed me up that corner too. I lost a whole tenth. I entered a little bit too wide. Hopefully we can hold on to this and get ourselves a stage win. I only have one, I think, this whole Last lap time was at season. And it'd be really nice to get as many as possible before we get to the playoffs. Especially if I don't have any wins. It's playoff points. Neven having himself a good run too. You've just done a 35.5. He's three. And I'm up the board car down. Oh. Sounds like Gavin got in an accident earlier. It looked like he was still in a pretty good spot on track. Though. So hopefully he's still hanging in there and getting himself a good run as well. Time was at 35.6. Alright, it might have been a little wide again there. Slow down, down low. Go high. It's a little wide. Four really slow on track. Hope he doesn't stop or anything. That wasn't a very good lap. Gosh. Really wish we would stop having cautions. Why are we stopping on the track? We're under caution. It's closed. Somebody went off into the road course. I knew it. As soon as he pulled down, I knew it was going to go across. Pete Road's open. Are you serious? Yeah, he did not have far to keep driving. I can't pit. I don't have enough tires for that. Jesus, man. Really? 
That's some official racing garbage right there. Like, come on. You can't stop on the track. I hope I didn't kill my tires compared to the guys behind. Because we're all that lead I had is now gone. This race has been a pretty disappointing so far. I think I'll, uh, just way too many wrecks. I don't know, maybe that's just uh, the hot air in here making me grumpy. Hey, Alan gets the lucky dog, though. You know what's worth it. Go, Go Alan. <laughs> oh, boy. So we have to use the access road, but then you pass someone, so you get a black flag? You gotta not pass well, someone. I've said to make sure you don't pass someone, but, yeah. No, that's dumb. Great guy racing mechanic. Yeah, for real. I mean, hope I get it clear, but who knows? The road is closed. Pace car is out. Pits are closed. Some unfortunate situations in this race with black flags and. Badly timed pee breaks. <laughs> Should be like if you pass them and they pit, then it's a black flag, but. That's a tough one to coup. I mean, it shouldn't be. We can just give the black flags out after the after the pit. Well, because that's a technicality. Because if you could pass a whole lot of people and actually make the positions. Well, we'll try it again. Hopefully, get to 110 this time and get ourselves some stage points. Because it's made it like Atlanta, where you have to stay 65 or whatever it is the whole way through. I don't know when we pit now. I guess just once we can. I've been a software engineer for years. I'm gonna watch the people behind me. I think. Say, you should be able to figure it out. Decide when I pit based on that. One to go. We're next time, next by. time by. Line up on the inside. I'm just saying there's gray areas with that. If you ever do that. No, you got a very valid point that I didn't think of. Plus, anytime you add more rules like that, I'm sure it's one of those cases like you fix one bug, four pit, four show up. That's just kind of how coding works. Are you going to school for that by chance, Nick? No, construction management, man. I build computers and enjoy them. I enjoy coding for a little bit, but I could never do that as a full-time job. Nice. Get ready. Going green. Oh boy. Alright, we'll try it again. Well, hold on. Pace car is off. Green, green, green. All right, how are our tires? How do they compare? Questions remain to be answered. Oh, 
I'm putting in my red black bar. Oh, that sucks. So many fortunate oh, circumstances this race for so many guys. I guess I've been very lucky not to be caught up in anything that's essentially at my control. Yet. <laughs> Let me clarify. Yet. That last lap was at 35.2. Missed that turn. That was good. Your lap time was thirty five point four. Thanks, buddy. That was better that time. Last lap I didn't have a very good one too. Actually, you know what? Actually, it's slightly worse. Huh. Felt better. I guess I just didn't get it quite right. That traffic up ahead, that's Ryan. He's probably pretty fast still. Had that black flag, obviously. Still seeming pretty okay on pace. That makes me feel better. Definitely worry about these tires. On your road with the three and four that time. Should have been on the gas okay, more. What the hell, man? This game sucks. Yellow flag is out. They want you in single file. Pete Rose, Please stop wrecking. Please stop. Car's out. Line up single file behind the pace car. It looks like Robinson has gone off. We're under caution. We got a pit. The oil temperature is getting Don't we? Pete Rose is now open. It's open. We got a pit. We can make it to the end now. I think if we keep in fourth gear. Watch your speed limit in the pits. This is a go for the win move, giving up the stage. We think we'll need to stop again. Keep boxing in. Five. Two. One. Two. Three. Right here. 85, 89. It's driving a little bit hard. <laughs> Alright, Colton, your engine temperatures are looking better now. Um, it's a stretch. Okay, punch it. We are going to be saving a lot of fuel here. Yeah, I thought I was doing the math right. Be mindful, Thanks, right. you only have one set of tires remaining. Line up, single no, you're welcome. Catch up, nine. Car. Sorry, I got a Oh boy. We gotta save about four laps of fuel. That means I'm gonna stop shifting, at least in one side of the track, maybe both, depending on what it's uh, saying for us. Catch that, 76, car. Catch that, 9, car. Catch that, 76, car. Catch that, 9, car. Well, there's a lot more people on pit road all of a sudden. What position are we in now? We're still in 8th. That's pretty surprising, actually. I don't like that we only have one... Tire set left. We have some serious fuel to save. However, I think we will save more by staying in fourth gear. It only takes one caution. 
Even if we get like an immediate one here, I think that might be enough. Make it even more feasible. The truck's idle at 1180, right? Yeah. Oh boy. It has turned into a fuel mileage race for us, at least. Four course yellow, pits are open. Catch up, nine, car. One to go, next okay, time by, line up on the outside, get start, 27, car. Can we save enough fuel? We're gonna be on fresh tires too. Should help us. Get ready, going green. The paid car is in. I should get out of habit. Don't do that. Keep low. You're in the middle. Why are we being take three wide? Inside, two wide. You're in the middle, three wide. Hold your line. Clear, two wide. Don't like that. Clear up. We're okay. Was at 36.0. Car inside. Oh, Alex on by, he seems ready to go. Stay high, there's a car on the low side. Still there, hold your line. Clear inside. You're probably enjoying that as much as I have uh, throughout the race, Gavin. Still there at that turn four. <laughs> okay, high. I've got to save fuel. Oh, yeah. Alright, well that's gonna help. Wow, it looked like an explosion behind me. Basically did not use the tires at all there. Catch up to the field Pace car is out. Pits are for everyone else Pace around us. Up single file behind car number 73. Even if I don't want to use the fuel to do so, I'll be respectful here. Although I don't think anyone behind us is fitting, so it might be okay. I think we're okay on fuel now. Are other guys still not pitting? Yeah, look at that. Sting. You know, maybe we push for a couple laps now that we're uh, we're good on fuel. Maybe. I mean, no, not we're not good on fuel. To be very clear. But. Uh, now that we've got some help with that caution, 
Maybe we can push for a couple laps, try to get as many stage points as we can, and then go back to fuel saving. Car 76, got the lucky dog, let them pass on the outside. Oh boy, this has been a, an interesting one, that's for sure. Yeah, you gotta be careful using the uh, access road. You can't pass anyone on the outside. You gotta be very careful about that. It gets people a lot here at Gateway. Interesting. 75 come on. Okay, never mind. Never mind. He's about to clip the grass. It's trying to fake people out, maybe? I don't know what that was. He just pit too, so I don't know why he did that. It's weird. Carbide, you had the position when the yellow flag came out. Caution. Pit road it's is closed. closed. Maybe we try to get as much as we can now. I think that's what we might do. Uh, the stage in 110. Yeah, 110. Thank you. All right. We're in the good now on fuel. Allegedly. I'm still going to be doing... I don't know. I'm still going to be doing some fuel saving. Once we get past 110. I don't know how I'm going to handle shifting to third, necessarily. Seventy-five is going to be on the inside. One left I was just ahead of him. For a moment there as we were saving fuel. Just wait for him to realize. There we go. You know, it's a good race when you're 40 laps down and you're lucky dog. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, do I have a beer at that point? I had 32 minutes of mandatory repairs. I've had two. Or more. Draw to be something on Netflix. Talk, guys. Talk, baseball. Let's see what we can get, I guess. There's still some fast guys up there. Guys that really aren't that old. I just noticed, is that Scott up there? Wow, yeah. He had some uh, wall hit issues earlier. I guess he got that fixed and he's doing alright. Two laps to the end of the stage. Alright, fine. Holy smokes, he's breaking hard. Are you serious? Seriously, dude? They want you in single file. Closed, pit road is closed. Ah, sorry about that. We're under caution, pits are closed. Yeah, me too. Was just talking to Gavin about it. That wasn't me, what I called I thought I was trying to beat the car you off. 
no. Neon green decided to run in the back of me. It's more like a teal, but yeah. <laughs> hey, you're real funny. Yeah, it's very tough. Keep doing that. I'm going to run out of luck. So I was just serving and my black flag for uh, passing under yellow, and then the yellow came out. So now I got another one. We'll need to stop again to get to the end. Oh man. Oh, I just get ready, you're gonna be better. Two, one, right here. Oh, Gavin, I'm hitting, I got damage. <sighs> it's just for fun, I know. But that's not fun. Nothing fun about that. At least for me, I guess. Seinfeld over here is having a laugh, but I'm not. All clear, hunted. I was in the lead of the guys that could make it. Yeah. And, uh, in great position. More. The end of the next video is going to be 35 minutes long. What's about to say? It's our open. My alarm on Saturdays is actually the post of that video. It's about 9 o'clock. I knew he was going to do it, too. I could see him back there. Getting past my bedtime. Honestly, me too. I'm getting tired. Pasta, 17, Catch that, I'm sorry for getting mad, 75. I'm just frustrated. I know it's just for fun. Now I understand. I'm sorry about it. Catch that, 62. Catch that, 62. All right, we'll still uh, we'll see what we can pull off. Still, see what we still got in this thing. It wasn't too bad. Uh, my math is correct. We got forty-seven to go. Yeah, that'd be longer than a yes. Well, you're blinking in an awfully bad. About to go green, stay focused. Well, yeah, we, we still have a set of tires for the next 30 wrecks, uh, whenever we decide to take that, so. Uh, we slid the tires, obviously, having been wrecked. Um, so, we, I don't know how we're going to be on grip compared to other guys around us. Ice car is off, be ready. Green flag. Car inside. Keep high. Clear. I think so. We've uh, had a rough one here at Gateway. Car inside. Still there at the 
pretty fun track, even if I'm not very good at it usually. Can I just go through like 30 laps without getting more damage? Alright, see if we can get here up there, we're good. At least, uh, at least it's out of the way, I guess. I thought I got it out of the way in my first track, but now I killed him. Five in the middle of the corner. That was scary. Whew, well we made it. Just we're not quite sure where it was going to be, where we were going to catch him exactly. Oh, should I have removed tape? I didn't even think about it. I hope we don't overheat. Did he feel like we got too big nose damage, but I also was just uh, on the brakes and uh, a little upset <laughs> while I was sitting on the track. I know some people might have gotten into me while I was sitting there. to remove tape. That's bad. We're in the red. You've just done a 35.3. I need to stay in uh, fourth gear for a minute. Thankfully we, we can do something about it. since uh, choose not to shift and that'll help the temperatures but it's obviously slower whoops sorry Jim I didn't see you there buddy the next car is they're fine I'm just trying to ride around and get to stay out of everybody's way so keep up. yeah well my car's gonna blow up here in the holy right smokes the expected them to have more speed off the corner of the back the the see they caught the smoke it's mine and stay low Still there. Clear outside if you want it. Early shift to help with the temperature. I think we should be able to manage it pretty well. B13. You're clear, take it. I felt pretty good about the win, I'll be honest. Had that not happened. Really sucks. Oh my god. Parking it into the corner. Alright, Colton. The next car is Frenak. He's on all their tires. That make, that's understandable. So it's gotta be on me to not run into him. Then. I mean, it always has to be for the guy behind. That explains why he was a little slower than I expected. Outside. Still there. Clear outside. Go ahead, Dylan. Alright, P12. That's not bad, still. P12. That lap time was 35.9. 25 getting loose up there. Wow, that was a big moment for him. Nice catch. Well, I'm sure his truck didn't like it.
Let it go around you here. Yeah. Go for it. 282 on the oil temp. Might do fourth gear and three and four whenever I can. I just took all the tape off after the repairs and I've been okay. Seventy five looks really loose up there. Of course he had that moment earlier. You've just done a thirty five point eight. That probably didn't help him with the loose issue. Third gear there. I don't know if I can move forward anymore. I think this is the limit of what I've got left. Great. Oil temp. Okay. Gotta ease it down again. That last lap was at 36.2. Uh, please get down. Okay. Anytime it's in that red, it's the danger zone. Gotta take one and two in fourth gear this time. Oh my gosh. Look how much slower that is, though. That's killer. Get by the 75. You know, he looks like he's got serious handling issues at this point. Doing a good job. Keep it nice and smooth. You got a good pick through, Alan. 40 laps on fuel. We're good there. I know I'm not saying much, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to focus, trying to get as much as I can. There's really not much to say. I got taken out of this race. At least we're top 10 again. We still should get a solid finish. It's just, uh, it could have been a win. I really, I truly believe it could have been a win. Go ahead, Dan. I feel like we were in a really good spot. I feel like we had a good pace. Um, how often are you going to be in a spot where Cave's not going to win? <laughs> I mean, I guess when he doesn't show up also, but... Yeah, tight. Nah. Just uh, got run in the back of, and now the truck's damaged. Up going back.
Alex in the lead. That's pretty cool. He's having us himself a good run. In fact, we got a pair of Alexes up there. That's funny. All up ahead on the straight. It's got a little bit wobbly on him there, maybe. Hi. Clear inside. Thanks, man. Be sure to check out Big Country 750 on YouTube. So did he just join and like cause a wreck earlier and then retire for no reason? <laughs> That's cool. What are you gonna do? Yeah, for future reference, I'm sure everybody knows this, but uh, let's not be making smart out comments after we wreck somebody and then send on the YouTube channel in the chat. <laughs> That's a neon green YouTube channel, Gavin. Come on. It's more of a teal. <laughs> I mean, I, I do agree with Gavin, with Gavin saying, though. I mean, that, as soon as he said that, that pissed me off, too, Colton. So, that sucks. <laughs> oh, boy. I don't know. I'm not. I'm contributing to to the nonsense by uh, being mean on the mic. I don't want to be that way. I regret doing that. Oh well. You know what? We're still in uh, still in ninth. That's a pretty solid day at the track, especially because you know starting off, I didn't think I was gonna be very good here. I was feeling really slow, and uh, I think a top ten at that point is gonna feel like some success. So you know, if we get a top ten here today, at least uh, Nick's looking pretty good at the end here. At least uh, compared to what I was initially thinking. Yeah, I think he's on the newest tire, too. Obviously, we're not going to catch uh, anyone up ahead. They're uh, much faster at this point. We'll settle into thir uh, to ninth, at least, I think. They're pulling away up ahead. At least hopefully we can hold on to ninth. I'll, I guess we'll see uh, what we're doing there. In terms of the relative. I think we're okay. 1.7. It was 1.6 a moment ago. I think we're just fine. We've been doing uh, shifting. Now I say that, <laughs> and it got real close, but Royal Camp 
getting hot. Yeah, I'm gonna have to watch it, maybe. Oh, for that debris caution right now. We had enough cautions. I think it's safe to say we had enough cautions. No caution, no caution, please, please. Yeah, we've had our fair share. I think I might have to take uh, turn three and four. Okay. There you go. Oh my goodness. Oh no, that was Alex from the lead. That sucks. Oh no. That's no good. All right. Well, I'm glad we have that final set. Uh, oh boy, I'm mad. So tires. I'm good on old tires. I'm not good on new tires. I don't know if I wanted that or not in terms of finish. I didn't want that at all because I just want this race to finish. Oh, it's my track too. It's open. But. Okay, I'm sure a real NASCAR driver did that one. Oh my god, my tires. I literally can't do anything. Is anybody out of tires? That's a good question. I'm trying to get in the pit there. The leader, Irvin, is pitting. Watch your speed. Your engine temperatures are looking better now. We'll need to stop again. Pit box team. <laughs> Need to stop again. You're full of it, crew chief. Five. We're not gonna make three, it on fuel, he says. Two, one. Right here. Oh, I thought I overshot it. Seventy-six, eighty-one. This race has been terrible. <laughs> Actually, this race has not been good. Okay, go. That's okay. Hopefully we'll go to the green to the end now. I don't know how we're going to be on pace. Probably not good, but... Yeah, I just started going in third, and no matter what I did, I couldn't save it, so I just, like, sent her around. This has been a rough for just about everybody, I think. So my tape's down, a couple of percentage. It'll allow us to push as hard as we can and hopefully not have any serious temperature issues. Are we seventh? Is that correct? We should find out when we get to the line, I think. Or for real. Alright, so actually 8th. I think that might be good. I think we want that for the outside of 1 and 2, naturally. Hmm. Although we do have Alex behind us, who we know is fast, because he was leading the whole darn thing just a moment ago. In the lead now is Scott. Great recovery. When he hit the wall as hard as he did earlier, I thought that was going to do some serious damage to him. And uh, maybe to even take him out of it, because that was a hard hit. And I saw him pit right afterward, and I'm like, oh man, he's going in, he's got to fix that. He's uh, battled back, so great job to him for sure. Look at Joe up there in 6 too, having a great run. He's probably got the worst luck of anybody I've ever seen on iRacing. <laughs> it feels like he's always caught up. Oh, yeah, he's right in front of me. He feels like he's always caught up in stuff that's not his fault. <laughs> so, I hope I didn't just jinx it. But pretty much everyone's had bad luck in this race. 
to some degree. So maybe, uh, maybe it's like the anti-luck race where everyone gets the opposite luck of normal. I don't know. Of course, Gavin usually gets bad luck, and he's had bad luck in this one too. So, who knows? Luck is a mysterious entity that has no explanation. I guess. <laughs> Get ready, going green. Well, 15 lap run to the end. I don't think there's going to be any tire saving going on. Not for me, at least. Not that I ever really do a great job of that, anyway. Post car is off. Time to do your job. Green, green flag. Green flag. Yeah, I haven't had a bad start. P6. Car inside. Still there at the bottom. Still there, hold the line. Clear inside. Right around the outside. He whatever. He five. <laughs> Overdrove that. Oops. 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 This will be fastest lap for Irvin, thirty-four point three. The guy behind has just done a. I'm pushing way too hard. It's just hurting me more than it's helping me. <laughs> Got to back it down. Take it easy. Don't overdrive. We are so slow on the straightaways. Okay, Colton, watch your oil temperature. It's pretty high. Temperature is still going up. I hope it doesn't get to the red at least. Oh, the temperature's getting really high again. Take fourth gear, the slap. I didn't take enough tape off. Third gear is not negotiable in one and two though, it's just way too much of a speed difference. Not turning quite as good as I want it to. Easy to blame that on the damage, but I could be overdriving it too. I don't know. I don't know exactly what the damage is doing to this thing. Probably not even much, but... I know I was faster, or at least able to get myself to the lead earlier, and that's not happening anymore. And it definitely looks like I'm down on speed on the straightaways with some arrow damage. 
just done a 35.3. Coming to seven to go. Ah, oh, man, I really wanted this one. This is another disappointing race. I mean, I that was a right now. I know that's seems a bit odd to play in about a fifth place. I just, uh, I felt like I had some speed, you know. Had it and lost it. I'm gonna have to work hard to keep on the fifth, too. Joe's right there. That was a Five to go. You got five left to go. Your oil temp is getting high. Uh oh, oil temp again. Getting a little high. Have to make sure we don't blow it up with only a couple to go. That would be. Just the cherry on top, wouldn't it? If I blew up the engine and lost the top five. He goes right there, man. He's going for it. Inside. Keep high. Stay high to the car on the low side. There's no grip out here. Clear inside. Grip out there at all. Whoa, my screen just blinked. Don't like that. Nothing to Gavin, wasn't he just right behind? Oh no. V6, the gap behind is now 0.4. Your lap time was 36.4. Sixth place, we'll lose our top five. That's all right. Still thankful for what I do have here. And coming to the white flag, Scott in first. You just got the white flag. That means one more lap to go. No more cautions. Nick's right there up there though. So you can have anything for him. Nick's trying some crazy high line, trying to get up there, but well, there's gonna be some not thinking that's going to work. We'll come off four with a P6 finish. Still able to get something decent, but that's disappointing. Good race, guys. Alan, I thought you were wrecked out of this thing. You're fast. 
that the best uh, track race oh, I've ever a, had. This is his home track too. That's cool. Good win, Scott. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, that hurts. Good stuff, Scott. Good stuff. <sighs> Thank God, that's the most, most fun, fun I've ever had, had in one of these races. races. Really? Good job, Alan. Alan had a great run. He's had bad luck, though, so makes sense. Great guy, Alan. So wow, we'll, uh, sorry, yeah. we'll still get a decent finish, at least. Gavin back in 10th. He still gets a top 10. Worried something bad happened to him, because all of a sudden he went from uh, right around 6th or 7th. And then he was off my relative, so I was worried <laughs> it got worse for him. But hmm. Well, uh, we better get started on these incidents, because there's going to be a fair, no a fair number of them, I think. Alright, get the camera pointed the right way. That's impressive, Jim. Getting to 24th. I think he said he was like 40 laps down at one point. So that's some, uh... Good durability, good endurance to stick with it. So apparently this guy's doing this already on lap one. How do I see the incident? Oh no. Nope, sorry, sorry. It was Shane getting loose. My bad. I'm still being snarky for no reason. I'm sorry. Shane just got on the uh, rumble strips and got sideways. Ooh, and then a big wreck up here. Gregory here doing a great job slowing down. I don't know why we're showing cars like behind the actual wrecks. What is going on up here? Oh, this is a continuation. Okay, of the same incident. James kind of gets in the back of the 11, and then the 11 gets sent around. Ooh, we just got a couple guys kind of slowly running into it. It's figured out, though. Gavin Wall on entry. Not too bad, though. Here's uh, when Nick King almost got me. Overdriving the corridor. Thankfully, did not. Nick Martin in the wall. There are so many Nicks in the series. <laughs> Here's another one. Ooh, he gets hit by the 27. I guess it's just this, uh, I guess it's the heavy braking zone that's causing a lot of issues. I mean, it, he probably saw the four behind and was worried about getting hit himself, and so probably overdrove it into the 75. Blinking going on. Oh, these are some big ones, too. Big blinks. Nick Robinson, after missing the start. Oh, that's some net code right there. Fortunately, the 15 found himself in the wall from it. Whoa, Shane loose on exit, I think. Uh, from third gear. Just getting some tire spin. Okay, P2. I think that's Scott up there at this time. Lap 20. Oh, that's a heavy hit for the 65. That was a big one. Much going on there. He might be blinking too. Some slight wall hits. Ooh, James. Oh, James into James. That's James as well, isn't it? James Raven. Uh oh. And then Jim. This is what got him the 40 laps down. He uh, just kind of had to keep in it, I guess. 
since it wasn't looking like it was going to cause a uh, yellow, but then it's right in his path. I can't believe he was able to come back out. Great patience by him to stick with it. Really worked out for him, too. Three into the six. Battle for the lead on lap 31. This is when Scott gets the wall pretty good, I think. Oh, that wasn't as big as I thought it was. Still, though. Not helpful, <laughs> I'm sure. Wow. Okay. Ryan's just, uh... Just after Gavin, I guess. Oh, that's not very good. That was worse than the other one. Like, why is he sticking it up the middle three wide there? That's just, uh, that's not a very good move. So he's backing out not taking it three wide, I presume, and then just overdrives it, I guess. I mean, I, get, I don't think he was intentionally making it three wide. I think he missed his breaking point because he was thinking about, like, do I take it three wide? No, I don't take it three wide. Oh, wait, my breaking marker was two meters back. I think that's kind of what happened here. And unfortunately, it was Gavin again who gets taken out by Ryan. And that really sucks. Man. But that's, uh, you know, I gotta keep my mouth shut when I get hit. Like, Gavin didn't say anything. He was disciplined with it. I'm not as, I'm not as disciplined with the mic controls, and I need to be better about it. So I'm sure Gavin wanted to say something, having gotten taken out before, but he's nicer than me, I guess. <laughs> Which, I mean, if you've seen a Gavin video, you know he's a nice person, so <laughs> I guess that's not too surprising. Here's when Ryan got the wall in front of me. About as hard as uh, when Scott got it. About the same thing. Don't know why we're bump drafting. <laughs> That's interesting. It's it's kind of strange. It looks like that should have been like square, but it really sent him to the right. I just I don't think bump drafting is going to be a good idea here. I guess. Wall. 27 and the 94 taking out the 27. Okay. So that one was not an issue with uh, <laughs> the rumble strips. Oh, wait, this is a different neon green. Okay, that's Alan. Other Alan, I guess. Not Nick Dad's. Nick's dad, Alan. Just overdriving it. These braking zones, I think, really. Uh, Causing a lot of issues, I guess. That must be what it is. Just breaking zones and guys entering harder than other guys. It's just uh, going to happen, I guess. We got some three wide on a restart, I presume. 14 trying to back out so it doesn't happen. They get into each other a bit. Nick Robinson just not really turning into the corner. Using the guys, uh, using eight, t uh, eight tires to turn. Isn't that the same guy he got into before, too? Or Gregory. Seems like that third gear out of the corner there is getting some guys really uh, upset on exit. James wrecking all the way to down the front stretch. Finally gets it together there. Wall on the straightaway. Ooh, 27 kind of coming up into Shane. They keep it going. Oh boy, this was a messy one. 
We're only on lap 61. He won loose and then hard in the inside wall. And then the uh, 71, that's Nick again. Gonna turn James Rayburn. And he just comes up and gets him. And that'll uh, wreck Nick Wing, Nicholas Wing. What, how many Nicks do we have? Goodness gracious. Can this get more confusing with all these Nicks? <laughs> I think we're on Nickelodeon, am I right? Nick Elodian? Uh -huh. I'm not funny. Anyway, the 27 on exit. Ooh, I think Shane got loose there, actually. Shane got loose, I think, probably fighting uh, from third gear. Bobbles on him. He kind of comes up. Oh, that's a hard hit. That might be... That was a tough shot for both of those guys. That wall's pretty close down there on the inside. You reach it in a hurry if you're spinning. And then Nick gonna wreck somebody else. He had a rough race, huh? Side by side. Just catches the, uh, the number four quicker than he expected, I guess. Comes up, gets him, and then we got a big one here. Oh, no. Yikes, yikes, yikes. And then Cabe can't slow it down. That's what took him out. Just nowhere to go. Track blocker. Gavin back here. Is he able to slow down enough? He is, kind of. <laughs> he kind of just tucks himself in there. I don't think he got very much damage from that, though. I wouldn't think, unless Netco did weird things. Bounce him off. But he did a great job slowing down for it. Just, uh, man, what a messy one. Just coming off pit road there. 75, getting loose into the wall. Nick fighting real hard, trying to get on the outside. He kind of gets saved from a spin by the wall there, I think. Ooh, the four balloon engine, that's why he stopped. I see, okay. I see what happened there. Yeah, I, we were all saying like, oh man, did he, uh, he must have, uh, was just stopping on the track, but no, nah, he tried not to. I think uh, I would try to, you know, alt F4 in the situation to prevent the caution. But he might not know how or didn't think to do that. To be fair, I wouldn't have expected the infield road course to bring in a caution like that. Assuming that is what happened, right? I would have thought he was in the clear having been in here. So I guess that's kind of understandable. He's in the parking lot. Hey, that's where I parked. I'm right here. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so it's going to show him until he's out of, uh... Until he's done rolling around in here. Because this is, like, technically him, like, going, quote-unquote, backward on the track. And so it's going to keep showing this as an incident until he stops rolling. And, uh... Shouldn't be too much longer. He's going to be going around the corner here with a blown motor. Momentum's going to stop eventually. In fact, let's just uh, zoom ahead a little bit. There we go. And back to it. Get loose up there. New contact, though. Oh, boy. Nick with another one. Taking out Alan. Stinos, and uh, because of the contact slowing those guys down, like Kevin reaches them, finishes them off. Another big wreck, or maybe not a big one, but a couple people. Where's the 27 going? I think he should have had plenty of time to slow down for that, but he might have not have seen what was going on. 
Yeah, I think he should have had enough time to slow down for that. To be fair, the green stayed out for a while, but I mean, I think you can see it right here. You can see it like... I think he had, probably could have slowed down a little bit better, but they were pretty much stopped there, so... He can maybe be tougher than what beats the eye to slow down enough. Then again, Rick did it and he was closer. So... Yeah, if Rick's able to slow down for that, I think the 27 should have been able to, too. Oh, and while getting sideways, just slowing down for that wreck. He's okay, though. No damage, I don't think. Sure why we're seeing that. Oh, wow. Side-to-side -side contact. Probably not necessary to cut it that close for uh, Alex here. Maybe could have been closer to the wall. They just meet in the middle, but I think it's, you know, probably too close right here. But definitely should not have done that. That was, that looked like open wheel cars running into each other tire to tire. It's not really how that's supposed to work. Is everybody able to avoid it? I think so. For some reason, uh, I think that's also, that's still Alex up there slowing down a little bit too much before the... Hit marker. It's kind of a weird pit entry. And then us getting taken out. Ryan drills us. That's where most of the damage came from. And then we get hit for some reason. Again. I feel like there was enough time to slow down for that too. I don't know why that happened. There's plenty of uh, plenty of room down there. I guess he was afraid of the 27, who also was Arca breaking this one too. I mean, that's probably what's causing my overheating issues right there. That front end damage. So just that tap made things worse for me. That was not even a tap though, that was a pretty solid hit. That didn't need to happen either. <sighs> but I don't need to be complaining over Mike either, so I feel bad about that. I shouldn't have done that. Probably dragging something <laughs> on the track. I don't know why it's showing that necessarily. 75 getting the wall real hard in front of Gavin. Guy's getting loose. Oh no. I always worry I'm gonna do this. You got this like uh indent in the track. I guess that's for you know the entrance. <laughs> got it like feels like it juts out right there. Kevin got it. I always worried I'm gonna do it. Kevin finds the wall a little bit. 75, getting loose into the inside wall. Eventually pulls off and then lets you know to go check out his super cool YouTube channel. Pick three. Just a tiny bit of a wall hit. We might not get too much more to the end of this thing. I think we had maybe one more wreck. Yes, this is what it was. It was Alex just getting loose. He's trying his best to hold on to it. Man, that's rough. I hate that for him. He was having a great race, and he still got seventh, but uh, he's going to be kicking himself for that. Just like me at uh, Charlotte last week, from the lead, making a mistake. It happens. <laughs> we start going on up here. Wall hit. I 
differences of speed entering the corner there. Gavin really loose? Oh, that sucks. I didn't know that happened. That's how he lost the handful of spots. I knew he was right, like, there in seventh or so. I didn't see that happen. Just got real loose for him uh, from third gear. Dragging the wall on entry for pins oil. Solid wall hit. Turn four has been lethal today. Here we go again. And again. It's like we're getting one one time a lap. But I do. Oh yeah, that's when it wouldn't turn. There's no grip out there. I hadn't been quite that high yet. And it, it was just not turning at all out there. I was just waiting for it, waiting for it, and nothing, nothing, nothing. So that made it real easy for Joe to get around me. Oh boy, oh boy. We almost had ourselves another caution. With only a couple to go. But uh, I think that's probably going to be just about it. Got some extra wall hits to do. I'm not sure what Nick did. He was trying to make a pass on the last corner. Oh my gosh. That explains why he was so high up the track. So he's peeking outside here. Scott goes for a block. And then Nick trying to uh, turn back on the outside. It looks like it just got all unsettled for him. I, that's kind of strange on the straightaway. We get that unsettled. But still able to pull it into P2. That's how he envisioned that quarter to go, though, I'm sure. And uh, Scott gets the win. So, good job to him. He will kill his truck. That was quite the celebration. That's some Carl Edwards sliding through the infield at, what, I think it was Charlotte? And destroying a drain pipe? <laughs> Just destroying the truck, destroying the car, as uh, part of the celebration. <laughs> but I guess he's earned it, right? He got the win, so congrats to him. He said finally, I think that must mean this is his first win of the season. And uh, I guess I'll keep looking for my own, keep looking for my own win. Thought I might have a chance today, but got taken out. Is what it is. It happens. Um, disappointing, but you can't feel too bad about still being able to pull it into P6. But we'll uh, try again next week, right? Where are we are? Where are we next week? If I can check quick enough here. I'll let you know. But um, as of now, that'll do it. Thank you for watching. Appreciate you. Um, lots of ups and downs in this race. Very tough race. Um, very messy. Which is disappointing because this can be a good track. But uh, the heavy braking zone, I think, really messed uh, messed some people up. We are actually, uh, we've got a couple of weeks break. But then we're at Nashville Super Speedway, which is going to be really fun. So I hope to see you there. That'll be a really good race. Um, <laughs> I can almost guarantee you it's going to have less cautions than this. But, you know, let me not jinx it, I guess. Anyway, that'll do it for this one. Hope you have a good one, and I'll see you next time.